Hello everybody, I'm Dan here from the Hammer Game Channel and welcome to something different because today we're playing the mod based on yours truly, myself, and I look absolutely glorious. Who doesn't love a bit of fat bastard? Um, yeah, so we're playing Atomic's mod, um, Dumfries is the capital, which is interesting, although Dumfries and Locke are kind of, uh, well not next to each other, but they're very close to one another. Um, so yes, we are playing Atomic's mod, so thank you very much Atomic, I never expected you to actually make it like, but it has been made since, well it's got one of the many different focus trees I guess, I should have read that, I'm sorry, just Kaiserreich, just used to getting rid of the pop-ups. So it's pretty well done, I have to say, it's looking decent, it is looking very decent. We do have to wait until the elections have occurred, which I'm hoping are going to be pretty soonish. March, that's good. But um, I already set up for um, one thing, and that's the invasion of Ireland, just straight away. Because why not? So we are suffering from some pretty bad stuff from the crisis of 1931. E economically, we're doing pretty terrible. Okay, right, wait a second. <coughs> oh, right. Today in Edinburgh's speech, angry Scotsman, Daddy Doon. Oh, yep, he's, he looks like Soap McTavish if we just grab the Navy. Good old fish paste in charge, of course. There he is. Looking fabulous. Um, totally excited crowd. All of those new schemes. Share the wealth. Share the wealth has become infamous. Uh, with the tagline, every Dunhamerin. Dunhamerin? A royal? He talks about making every... Dunhamerin. I think that's right. It's a family. Have a car, radio, and a good house. He also proclaimed about setting a limit for the riches of uh, the average man. The top dog makes a good point. None of the lines changed. So, we have got Atomic as a field marshal. Basically, he's put in, you know, subscribers, which is really, a real, was a really good idea, actually. Really good idea. Let's go for the Irish policy. Now, um, all right, I'll get back to the leaders in the ring. So, we've got the economic crisis. We've got the political impact. Um, well, sorry, the economic impact of the crisis. I'll get the back to them in a second. Let's contest the Irish. Screw them. So that's not doing well for us. That's not really helping us either. And that's just not great either. We do have military research cooperation with Britain. But that's going to go bye-bye. Because guess what? I'm going to make uh, the UK blue. Uh, <laughs> I'm not that incompetent. I don't think I'd be that terrible. But you know what? I'm, I'll let you have it. Okay. The general election lay is only a month away. And there is great fear that an extremist party will win the election due to the Democrats failing to act on their duty of improving the economic and political state of the country. There seems that there is no hope left for democracy in Dunhamaria. Dunhamaria? Oh my days, I don't, I, I don't know how to properly get that out. However, the Blue Coup generals can kick out the, and Snake have issued a proposal to the Dunhamarian government. The generals will take over the government and will set up a temporary military junta until economic and political... Economic and political and economic stability are restored and then democracy will be restored. That doesn't really make sense there, Atomic. Economic, political, and I'm presuming you meant to say military stability are restored. Uh, many in the coalition are support, uh, supporting this because they see it as only hope to preserve democracy in Dunhamaria. However, uh, however, many people don't support see this because they think it could bring the death of, the, uh, of de uh, democracy sooner. So, onwards to the elections. Because democracy is the only path that's in it right now. So, yes, we got the um, the generals. I am a terrible field marshal. So, let's not use me. The 6th Annual Glasgow Order Rally. The Order Party has be, uh, have been hosting annual three-day rallies in Glasgow for six years now. However, the 6th rally appears to have started more fiery and fierce than the previous five. Grand Fury Atomic urged in his opening speech of his rather to kill all those capitalists and communist bastards. Well, if we don't care about the communists, we must protect ourselves. What should we do? Uh, protect the police and loyalist supporters with force. And that's what we're going to do. Right, so yes, we do have a lovely group of subscribers as generals there. Obviously, Fish Pace and Admiral. And we also have all the political advisors are also subs. And me as well, and my dad. Um, we've also got them in, and all the military staff as well. So it's 
And I'm presuming they're in here as well. Yes. So this is brilliant. It's looking very good. So my plan is take out the UK and maybe we'll go from there. We'll see. We'll probably ally with the Germans unless we really want to dick on them as well. We won't really join the allies. That's just not going to happen. I just want to get to this war goal right now because we only have one division and we can only launch five of them right now. We did not want... Oh, right. So here's the election. So obviously we are going to go with Dunhamer because, well, we need to... Uh, after ages of anticipation filled with violence and crises, the 1936 general election has arrived. The four parties taken part in the election of the Nationalist Loyalist Party, a new party of the Conservatives and Liberals, the Order Party, a fascist party, and the Union Party, a neutral party, and the party of the Hamer and Workers, a Communist Party, but there can only be one victor. People elect Dunhamer! Yay! Good old me continuing. I was going to call myself a bastard there, but I'm not. Oh, there's only three divisions on there. There we go. We don't really have much oil to waste away, but... Oh, well. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. Oh, we're not really making too much either. Yeah, we need to go ahead and... What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Well... I'm glad they're going communist, but at the same time, I don't know if that means they're going to go to war with Germany at all, which is a bit of a, well, just terrible for us. Right, we'll contest, uh, conquer the Irish, not contest them, we're going to conquer them. Right, so concentrate industry. We do have one armoured division, but I'm not really making any tanks right now. Delegation for Britain, France, Italy, Japan, and the US met in December. In 1935, discussed the Rio, the first London Naval Treaty. Of course they did. Right. Well, I'm looking forward to, you know, killing everyone. Might go after France, actually, after Ireland. <laughs> to start losing to Germany. Okay. It's all happening. Looks like Germany's going. Well, good old normal Germany. Right. Let's go ahead and kill the Irish. Let's just merge the fleets. Don't think they have that big of an navy. No, they have no ships. I kind of feel sorry for them because nothing's going to stop me here. I don't think. Right, let's go ahead and start working to the. Uh, well, we should probably go down the uh, this part of the tree first, fixing the politics. Um. Well, the Irish aren't home. It would seem. The Irish are on vacation. Yeah, I don't like how we're doing that. Oh, found the division. Know what to do. Encircle them. Okay, the Irish actually suck there. So we'll go ahead and annex them. It was a nice quick war to start things off. Obviously, we will have to put troops on uh, the border. Of Northern Ireland. Right, let's just get pumping out the factories. So what we'll do is we'll get some convoys in for just there. Right, they're supporting status quo. Okay, right, let's go ahead and that is having an absolute stroke right now. So, let's see what we can do. I don't... Oh, recruitment population, that is brilliant. That is a very nice focus right there. I think I'm going to grab that first after grabbing fixing the state of politics. What else have we got? Tackle radicalism. What does this do for us? Five, five, and five. Okay, so that's kind of going to reduce my thing to five, ten, and ten. Okay, that's good. We really don't want that impact on us because it is absolutely terrible. Leadership purges in the Soviet Union. Of course, that was going to happen. The Great Purge always happens. Oh, I can't wait to see this all blue. It's going to be very nice. How have you flipped to communist already? What the hell? 
Okay, they they are communist apparently. They are now communist. Right, so that's that is brilliant. Just love that. Um, got some manpower there as well. That's gonna be all good. Good stuff. Give in to the trade unions. Nice wee loss of stability there, but I guess this side's gonna give us some anyways. Oh, bollocks! I didn't even see this. Yeah, that needs to be sorted now. The economic and political will need to get sorted before we think of any warring. And again, I kind of want to sort the military as well, because that's not really too great for us. But I guess that can take a back seat right now. Oh, how are we going to get one against the UK? Well, I should just say England at this point. Well, England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. I guess it's still kind of United Kingdom. Right, not that way. Over here. So we're going to have to grab all of this. I'm glad it's just 42 days for all of it. That's good. But I hate for this to be all 70. And just give me flashbacks of um, doing the first... U well, my huge... Not... Yeah, blah, blah. My UK playthrough on um, Kaiserreich when I first done that. That was terrible. 70 days. It's so fun just sitting waiting for all those focuses. Well, France has made the little entente, so they're going to get absolutely decked on by the Germans at some point. Unless, surprisingly, they had managed to defeat the Germans, but I don't have much faith in them. Right, I think we are going to just get rid of that tank. Dunhamer's boys armor division. I'm sorry, but he's going to go bye-bye. I know he's uniquely named. We'll just have to make him back when we actually get it, get it back. Spanish Civil War, we will not be doing anything to help them out. Let's go ahead and change all those up as well. It's looking better. So, could we... I was going to say, it'd be very weird if we could send... Oh, we don't even have 30 divisions, it's fine. Right, so we are short of guns and support equipment, but that is fine. Radio's done. Let's grab... What doctrine shall we go down? I did say for other play that are starting uh, with what, what, my next playthrough that uh, I was going to start going for different land doctrines. So I am indeed going for mobile warfare. Hopefully we'll be able to get some tanks out later on. Let's go ahead and grab Sneak's Bill Reminder. I should probably have a wee read of these as well. Third Amendment, also known as Sneak's Bill, was devised by General Snake. The amendment was a piece of temporary legislation that gets rid of freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and freedom of the press. Now we have to start to make the political situation better. It's time to repeal this amendment. Let's repeal it. Oh, there you, Snake. That is such a terrible thing to actually put in place. I don't like how Dumfries is our capital. <laughs> I, I just... So close. You just cover the whole of Scotland in cities and towns of Atomic. I could give you tons of them. Kugler Blitz will hopefully absolutely destroy them when the time comes. And we push it down south. Yeah, Atomic should definitely get a decision. Oh, we've got decision decisions here. Um, Like a formal nation takes over the whole of the UK. That'd be great. I mean, sorry, the Dunhameran Republic. Or just any of them, actually. I say we could just invade Norway as well. Just start invading everybody. Right, that has been sorted. Um, we'll come back to that. Let's go ahead and get the legitimate government. Need to read that. We are the proper legitimate government and the legitimate ruling party of the nation. It's time to make this clear. We're going to spread democracy. So that's going to give, just basically give us democracy and some stability. Which is good considering that we're going to lose a little bit of stability in here. Oh, cut military spending. Oh, not quite sure I want to take that, but we'll we'll have to. Factory output plus fifteen percent. Ah, that's just gonna sort all that, isn't it? Um, do, 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 do. let's go ahead and grab you. So I, I think this will be that will be helping us right now. A quite nice wee bit. Until it goes, it will go once we invade them. Atomics even put in there that uh, this will fall apart, however, if Dunhamer up. And Britain go to war. I don't even think I'm saying that right. Dunhamer No, oh, I'm just going to go with it. Like, let's get early mobilisation. Alright, let's just keep going down there. 
Is the economy... The economic one's quite bad as well, though. Because mm. we have to get all of it. We've started this, we're going to finish it now. We should have probably went for economic first, but... I'm very interested to see what they get up to. I'm really hoping they are going to not go communist in time for them to get dragged into a, a war for Germany. Uh, I'm not going to waste the political power I have on those, because we don't really have much to uh, spare right now, considering we're only getting 0.2 a day. How is the world looking? The Republicans have been dicked on. That's nothing new, I guess. When do they all break away, actually? When do... I'll have to check in a second. I, can't... I know they break away from the UK when you go communist and fascist. Or even the King's Party, sorry. They just break away, don't they? Hmm. They'll disappear. It will collapse. Right, let's go ahead and improve political stability. Of course, we will probably want to think about going ahead and actually doing contest the Brits and get the new Hadrian's Wall. Oh, we should probably go and grab that, actually. Just get those three. And then just leave that, because that gets us some military factories as well, gets us on the war economy. And we're not really got political power to uh, spend on actually grabbing war economy right now. And then again, our stability's not high enough to keep, our war support's not high enough to keep it rolling, is it? The Air Convention. Do I want to actually bond with it? I was actually going to strengthen ties with the Irish. Thought it would be quite cool, but uh, oh well. Right, let's go ahead and grab you. Th this is really going to do not too much for us, that land doctrine right now. How are we doing equipment-wise? We're catching up with that, that's good. We've still got 70,000. We are on limited conscription, though. And that is with that boost as well. Then again, we are losing minus 25 recoupable population from uh, the military effects of the crisis of th 1931. Let's go ahead and grab Excavation 1. The Hindenburg has exploded. That is a shame. We're going to put on the International Scottish version. I don't even know what that is. You all exercise, because if so, then we can stop. Right, that's good. Right, let's actually have a wee look at the military part. Three marine divisions, interesting. And three Dunhamer and Guard units. It'd be interesting to grab those, actually. Why, oh why, have they went to war? Oh, it's Wang! They must have, they must have killed Thingy. Oh. In a national loyalist party in the Democratic Coalition, in November 9th, all the Democratic parties of Dunhamaria joined together in a de Democratic Coalition named the National Loyalist Party in fear of a radical or extremist party winning the 1932 elections. Democrats saw this as the la their last hope, and it worked. The Democrats managed to win the election by a slim margin, and it is agreed upon by political historians that if the coalition never formed, the other party would have won the 1932 election. But after the 1932 election, the coalition stayed intact to safeguard the Hemian democracy. However, the influence and the support of the radical and extremist parties diminished. The loyalists agreed now would be a safe time to span the coalition. All three parties of the coalition, the Conservatives, the Liberals and the Social Democrats, put forward their own candidate for the 1940 election for the first time in our history. Very sad to see it go, but it's done its job. So, it's just called the Liberal Party now. Okay, that is very interesting. No, oh, we have a focus going though. Right, um, let's tackle radicalism. Okay, Neville Chamberlain is here. Mr. Incompetent himself. Well, not Mr. Incompetent, actually. That is me, basically, in this world. Even Mussolini doesn't even suffer from the incompetent leader. It's terrible. Right, what do we want? Do we want to grab any of you? We could grab the war industrialist. Hey Canada, welcome. Mm, you've brought one division. I will keep five over here. Five should be enough to take that. Right, radicalism has been tackled. Oh, I did not read any of these. Since the very start of this country's history, the country has been plagued by evil radicalism. 
We have stamped the extremism and radicalism out. Allegiance, as far as we are concerned, there's only one party and one ideology that people can pledge allegiance to, the National Loyalist Party. So we get some 10 stability and 10 war support uh, from the National Spirit Allegiance. Right, we really do need to get rid of those. Quicker the better. What is Germany up to? They're doing synthetic rubber. Do we have many wars actually ongoing? No, Chinese war. So, Communist China definitely went down the... Oh, they didn't. I thought they had. Why on earth is Wang already here then? Yeah, why do we have Wang? Because if you didn't do it, who did do it? Because I thought they had done this. Remove um, Chang. Well, if they do that now, even Wang will then die. <laughs> I think I might be wrong with that. Let's defend democracy. What was the caption for that? We need to try and defend the democratic ideals in our nation. So minus three party popularity for all the other, all the other ones. God saved in Hamria, our home, sweet home. Scottish people have always been stubborn than a bunch of brutes. We will not allow one foreign army invade and subjugate our country. A land of stubborns. Division attack and defense of core territories up by. F 10 and war supports up by 5. That's pretty good going. Do we need to do... Now, I love how all of these tanks are named. Um, with Scottish kind of people and everything. I would not have had Hadrian <laughs> as a tank. But oh well. Big Robert as um, heavy and Bruce is this next small one. So we'll go and get the... Uh, I mean the light tank. The small again. The small again. We shall go ahead and grab the maintenance company. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this election 1940, actually. The Marco Polo Bridge incident. You idiot, Wang. Wang, you're going to get pumped, mate. Truce the island in March, and then you'll get invaded. At least they're doing army reform, I guess. Right, let's go ahead and import some steel. We we can't, apparently. Oh, my days, we have no consumer goods right now. Right, um... Shall we start doing the economic recovery? No, we'll just God save. We'll just finish this. We'll finish off the political, then we'll go from there. How are you? Communism isn't doing so well. Ah, just the base game. Why isn't all loads of wars? Where's Kaiserreich when you need it? Oh, excuse me. It's been a long, well, it's even been a long day, actually. Just work killed me. All right, we've almost rooted out all of the imposters. It's good going. Then we'll only have four left to grab over here, and then we will have sorted the political issues. How is the fleet doing? Okay, we've got five more ships, five more destroyers. What we'll do is we'll actually just um, dump them actually onto the fleet. Oh, I love how we have the DNS Dunhamer. Early heavy ship. And is pride of the fleet, which is amazing as well. Do we actually want to exercise these for the first time in... Oh my days, no. That's probably the first time I've ever clicked on that uh, exercise button for the Navy. Do we have an Air Force? Do we have a Scottish Air Force? We we do not have an Air Force. Then again, when do I ever use the Air Force anyways? Right. Um, let's get decryption. Oh my days. We have we have we have a single factory. We have a single factory. Well isn't that brilliant? He can he can start work at one factory. He can just start work on more factories. Right, can someone please do something? 
Why do you look like an enemy of communists as well? I don't know why you haven't went ahead and invited all the others. Well, Yugoslavia, Romania, and guaranteed the Poles. So we are only a year until 1939, so... Well, then again, they're doing Poland first now. Good old Mitsumori. Definitely have not missed seeing it happen every time. And if no, uh, non-historical... Was it? AI, AI focuses off my um, vanilla game. Love it. Can he go wrong with it? Right, how are we doing equipment-wise? Okay, we're still trying to catch up with the support equipment. Then again, we do only have one factory on it currently. Right, we almost finished that part of the tree. Good, good, good. Defense. I don't really think that's going to... Yeah, that's really not going to help us too much. Right, let's go ahead and sort the artillery out by getting it upgraded. Looking, we've off to a good start. Then again, we've been off to a good start since we invaded Ireland. Easily cut off that one division. They're slowly revisit colonial policy. Everybody's just gonna leave. Oh. Oh no way! No 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 no. See, I should have waited to invade Ireland because um, does that mean, you know how they've got to withdraw from the contested territories? Well, obviously, one of the contested territories, as you can see, is Northern Ireland. And it's gonna, Ireland's going to become the owner and controller of it. So Ireland's going to reappear. There's going to be a pain in the backside because I won't be able to justify war on them. <laughs> oh, damn it. Right, let's get the popular figurehead and silent workhorse, Daddy Dune. France declared war on... Hun well, R.I.P. Hungary, that's for sure. I don't know how that has came together so quickly. But... Oh, you are... You are so screwed. Oh, and we we have we have World War Two in nineteen thirty eight. Yep, that that is that's brilliant. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that's gonna go for all parties involved. Croatia's here. China is also being invaded by Japan now. Well done, man. You bought yourselves literally until May, a couple of months after. Um, right, well, we've we've recovered from the political impacts, which is great. The crisis has also kind of removed itself. Now, we have the... We do have the military we need to get through as well, but let's start the economic recovery. And we're going to start to... We're going to sort this template out, actually, by adding in some stuff. We're going to be 80 support coming short, that's fine. What we could do is we could just bring it down like that for the time being. Alright, we can get another eight. Another seven divisions. That's fine, that's going to be perfect actually. Communist China has joined the Greater Asian Co Prosperity Sphere. Fan Dabby Dozy, indeed. Prepare for war with Japan. Even though you just joined the Greater East Asian, sorry. Tension run high between the United States and Japan. Oh, oh, the Czechs are dead. You have a goal. You have a war goal. The United States have a war goal on Japan. Oh boy. Things could be kicking off now. I uh, already have. Um, Oh, they're wasting no time. They're wasting no time now. The French Entente Alliance is now, well, as Luxembourg getting invaded. They'll be invading everybody in a minute. Towards Dominion Independence. They're gonna get their independence anyways when the uh, they go communist. If they even do go communist, how many divisions they got? Oh, we can take them. 
we can take them with our 17 and 0 manpower. At least our stability is up to 96 now. And we are making 1.78 a day now, so at least we can fill out all this. It's a shame, Atomic, that you're, uh, you have to be a fa we have to be fascist to get you, but oh well. Um, we'll get to good old Khan here as our infantry genius. Probably also grab a chicken man and probably snake until uh, we've got armor divisions in. We'll probably pick up Costa. Right. Um, let's go ahead and do the Dunhamerian Econ Economy Recovery Act. We shall do that. But we are going to leave that first there. So I know we've not done too much. At least we've seen kind of one part of the uh, this part of the tree completed. So we've got the political side fixed. We'll get the economy, then the military, then we'll start deciding on what else we want to do. And we'll go from there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Do check out the mod. Atomic has spent God knows how many hours making this. So please go and show it some love. And I shall be back very soon for some more. Take care and cheerio bye for now.